Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use date value function in Excel. Date value as the name suggests gives the value for a date as Excel stores all the dates and times in numeric value this is the formula that will give that numeric value. So here I'll show you how it works. I type date value, I hit tab to auto complete the function and you can see it takes one argument which is date text. This means that you have to key in the date in text format. It could be in double quotes. So let me show you how this works. In double quotes I type 01-03-2014 and I hit enter and this gives me 41699 which is the value for 1st March 2014. Uh, notice that here I have used 01-03. There are other formats that I'll just show you that can also be used because Excel recognized this as one of the date formats. The other thing, thing to notice is that it depends on your system's clock settings. So this time it re it's returning the value for 1st March 2014 because my system's settings use DDMMYYYYY format but if if your system uses MMDDYYYY then it would take this as 3rd January 2014 so be cautious uh, of your system setting and the formula would take the settings from your system's clock and then return the value now let me show you some other formats that date value accepts so you can also use uh, slash instead of uh, dash that I just used in the cell right above this and when I hit enter this gives me the same value because uh, this is also one of the formats that Excel understands similarly there is this third format which in which uh, the month is typed in letters alphabets and this is what you get. So I have written 01-March-2014 uh, and this gives me the same result because this is also one of the formats that Excel understands. So any format that Excel understands as date would give you the right result. At Till now I have manually typed these values but I can also use cell references. So here I have the year in A3, month in B3 and day in C3. So I would use C3 ampersand and I have introduced uh, slash ampersand the month again I would use ampersand and I introduce the slash in quotes ampersand the year and I close this. Now if you if I select this part and I hit F9 you can see this is giving me the same thing as this one so you can use cell references as well to have date value give you the value of a date and I hit enter and I get the same result. If you do not have the year or if you do not key in the year then Excel would take the current year by default based on your system's clock settings. So since this is 2014 when I'm recording this video, I've typed in uh, first March but I've not given it the year but it would still return me the same value because it takes the year as the current year. And if I do not give it a date, so in this case if I type March 2014 it would take the first day of that month. So in this case if I hit enter it gives me the same result which is 41699 because if I do not give it a day it takes first March 2014 and returns its value. So this is how date value function works. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.